Okay, this is my new Fuji SL 2.5. It's new to me and it was new at the store, although it's a 2016. So I got a deal for it here in June of 2019. Yeah, carbon fiber frame. It's my second such frame. The first one was a 2004 Trek 5200. Well, boy, they've come a long way since then. This one feels lighter and uh, stiffer. The geometry is good for me. You know, the Trek was a 54 just like this one is. This is replacing my aluminum Fuji Rubei 1.3. It also had Shimano 1 and 5. A good group of, I find that the price break is really good right at the Shimano 105. And it goes up when you get to the Altegra, which was what was on my Trek, my 2004 model. But the trickle down means I really believe that this 2016 Shimano 105 is better than the Altegra that was on my 2004 5200. So I'm just enjoying this. You know, it was an MSRP of $2,000. Got it for $1,400. I've ridden these wheels before. They, the same kind were on my Fuji Rubei. Only they were the uh, three two seven sevens like these are. Uh, these wheels it says it somewhere on here, uh, but really good. These are a little bit wider to accommodate the wider tire styles that are in now. So 11 speed, which is what my Altegra used to be. I have no complaints about these oval concepts crank sets. Very stiff. I don't know how light they are, but this is a 520, so it's probably lighter than my three, whatever was on my Fuji Rubei. Yeah, I just really like how they spec'd it out, saving money where they could, where I really don't think it matters. Maybe a few grams here and there. If I were to replace anything, I think it'd be the brakes. These work great, the Shimano. A whole lot better than the Tektros that I've had on a bike of mine, a couple of bikes of mine. And Plus my wife's bike, I swapped it out for a, a generic, you know, BR Shimano set. Might have been this very same set, but hers are a little longer reach, mid-reach, uh, to accommodate the frame clearances. Can you see that gray sparkle? Yeah. So functionality-wise, I wouldn't need to replace these brakes at all, and I might not. But I can get a 105 set from the same era. That's the 5800 instead of the 7000s that are in now for about $48 shipped. Might do that just to round it out because my Fuji Rubei had a complete Grupo also, brakes and derailers, but it also had this mobile concepts. I did check it out. I could get a uh, Shimano 105 of the same era, 5800. Uh, Octolink 2, I think they call it for about $125, and uh, it appears that it is compatible with uh, this bottom bracket set. Praxis, whatever that's called. It's a press fit, but it's an adapter. Praxis works, I think. Now, these bottles, I got two of those bottles in those cages. I just really like how those specialized cages work. I um, wanted something that was going to be uh, sturdy and uh, but yet easy to get the bottles out. I got them both in Costa Rica while I was there. And uh, just thought the colors went well. You know, why not? Moby Star, they always have a pretty good team in the classics and in the tours. Um, so that's what I went color scheme this time. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, in Costa Rica, I actually had uh, Moby Star satellite service as well as Sky and Kobe, I think. And uh, I think uh, Claro, which is also a sponsor for tours and such. All right, so, and they've also had uh, Moby Star riders that have won the stage and the tour back a few years back, maybe it was 2014, I can't remember the exact date. So I'm not gonna overdo it style-wise on this bike. Um, Pretty nice understated frame. My Fuji Rubei was pretty 
in your face with the color graphics. This is the one that has the carbon fiber fork also and steerer. And uh, I think this is the C10 frame. Goes up to high modulus C15, and this is high modulus C10. I'm gonna go get my fitting done at the bike shop and uh, comes with it. This is a carbon fiber, I think it's a wrap seat post. It's making a little noise. They tend to come undone right about there, so uh, he's gonna give me a new carbon fiber seat post of a different kind. Let's see. Yeah, it was in immaculate condition. Got this from uh, the Bicycle Shack in uh, Lee's Summit, Longview Lake area. I don't know if there's much more I can tell you at this point. KMC chain. Um, yeah, might need a little bit longer stem. The nose of the saddle's pointed down a little bit. Tried to get it with my little tool and couldn't get enough leverage. So uh, I'll let him do that at the shop or I'll do it at home with my tools. I guess that's all I had to say, but it's a joy to ride. Real joy. I'm here at uh, uh, Shawnee Mission State Park in Kansas City, Missouri. What a beautiful day. It's in the 70s and what a beautiful park this is. Very hilly too. Great chance to try out the bike. All right.